have your seatbelts fastened nice and tight? Uh-huh, uh, sure do. do. <laughs> then here we go. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Not personally, no, my daughter has. Um, once or twice in my life, probably, but I can't remember. Yes, I have. No, not yet. Yes. I can't say I have, no. Um, only to come into town with from the science park. No, I haven't, no. Oh, right, yeah. No. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. So it was that same? Yes, it was very good, actually. Um, yes, it did compare, because Swayze, where I live, the old bus took an hour and the new one takes about half an hour. About the same, actually, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it did. I live quite far out, so um, it's quite quick and yeah. I don't know about cost effective. I think it would be a good thing to have, but they need to put on more buses. It's just not enough services at all at the moment. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I think it might be. Well, I always thought the guided bus was a big mistake because I think there ought, ought, ought to have been a proper rail, like a proper railway line to St Ives and Huntingdon and so on. But um, given that we've got it, um, I'm prepared to use it. Um, but I don't see how you could have had a separate lane. There isn't the space for going into Cambridge. Um, but for outside of Cambridge, I think having a dedicated track was a really, is a really good idea. But it should have been a railway line. Um, yes, I think it would really, probably, yeah. Yeah, I think it would be, because I don't really see what the point is of making, you know, like some extra special concrete trackway and it just be a normal road, but just for buses. Um, well, people with, but people with buses don't have to, like, wait when the bus stops. Because there won't be any hold ups then, so I do think it's a better idea. Um, probably not, because the whole point of a guided bus is that it is a road for buses, but it's narrow because it's guided, so it takes up less land. Yeah, probably, that'd be right. Yeah, definitely. I think um, the more buses you can get on the road, less cars there will be, more people using buses, so yeah, less congestion. So, yeah. yeah, I do actually. I think it will do if they lay on more buses because there's not enough. They won't have all these people that are left stranded on the side of the guided bus for a start, and that way, I think the more buses you have, the better the route could be. But at the moment, with only one an hour, it's just not enough. Not really, no. No, it's still just as bad. It would be nice if it did, but I think it's too soon to say. Um, I suspect that most of the people using, using it now aren't people who went by car on the road. I'm, I, I'm, I can't be sure of that, but my sense is that it's mostly people who would have caught a slower bus. No, not by my journey here this morning, no, because I got stuck. I came on the normal bus and we got stuck, yeah, for ages. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of people use this bus, so um, the more people that use it, the less cars there are. So, yeah, it decreases. It definitely has from what I've heard. I'm not really sure, but I'd imagine it probably has. Pointless why they built it, so why don't you buy it, build a train? Um, I can't really ask Yeah, because it carries more people. I have no idea. I hope so, but presumably it'll take a little bit of time to make that judgement.